Night Fever Game of the Week is sponsored by Game Day Haircuts. Football games. Lots of ways to get ready for them. A good pregame meal, stretching, warm-ups, of course. But maybe, most importantly, listening to some good music really puts you in the mood. And it's not every day that you get to listen to a song about your own high school program. Our Jason Williams caught up with a musical artist who three years ago made a song about the program that he was once a part of. Yeah, Emily, if you've been out to any Itawamba athletic event in the past three years, you've probably heard this song called ITA Anthem. It's played here at the football field, basketball stadium, just everywhere. You hear it all the time if you're at an athletic event. And earlier this week, I got a chance to catch up with one of the artists who was on the track, and we just chatted about how this song came to be. Oh. The song ITA Anthem was released three years ago by former Etiwamba AHS football players Austin Chumpert and Denzel Cummings, also known by their musical names Adi Banyo and Zelly. Chumpert said he began his music career when he was a senior in high school, and the first song he ever did about the school was when the girls won the basketball state championship back in 2014. And after that song came out, many in the community, including his former head coach, had been pushing for him to do one for the football team. Coach Hoos had been pushing me. He'd been pushing me for <laughs> about 10 years, and then I finally was just like, you know what, I've been ignoring it long enough because I, it was something that, that's something you really don't want to play with because you get one shot to represent your community. And when the song was first being made, it was originally just going to be for the football team. However, it ended up being about way more. And I really was just trying to, in my mind, trying to do it for the team at the time. Mm -hmm. But in the making of the song, I thought, okay, it could be something the whole community could use. And Chumpert said making the song was easy for him. Because when he hopped in the booth, he just reminisced on all his times being on the field as an Indian. For this song, I didn't really have to write anything or nothing like that because you really, you living in those moments. So I just went back to the, all those moments from the sports that I played, the, the, the relationships that I had with the people, some that are still here as in Coach Hoops and some of the other guys part of the program. But like you just live in those moments and you take yourself back. I took myself back and I was just like, you know, whatever come out, just come out. And even though he loves the entire song from start to finish, he says his favorite part about it is the war chant. That's what you you ain't even gotta you, you can hear the song for the first time. You hit it, you gonna chime in. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to know any words. We don't have to know any lyrics, babies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Older people, it, it don't even matter. Like you hit it, you gonna join in. I put on for you to I think my I think my personal favorite part of that song is when the first beat drops. But really, all of that song is really good, and I'm sure some of the players may be even listening to it right now. But if they're not, they're probably going to hear it at some point when they come out to get ready for the game. We're going to have more Friday Night Fever coverage coming up for you guys at 6. Make sure you guys come back for that. But for now, live in Itawamba County, I'm Jason Williams, WTBA 9 Sports.